What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I know I have focused a lot on Brother Corey Hardrick, and I just want to be a beacon of hope. I know we have a lot of brothers out there who have kids. We have brothers who have lost their children in divorce. We have brothers who um, might not be able to find their way. But I'm here today to let you brothers know that firstly, I love you, right? As a black male content creator, especially the brothers from the African-American community, um, I love you. And, you know, I, I want you to keep keep on keeping on like the old folk used to say. Um, you don't have a lot of support as a man. And, you know, you don't have a lot of people believing in you, especially when you're having tough times. It's easy for people to leave you for dead. But keep fighting. Keep fighting. You don't need to go out there and do something stupid. Because you've been hurt or because somebody is trying to piss you off or egg you on, you will soon regret it. Keep on living a great life. And I, and I keep wanting to talk about that because of what Brother Corey Hardrick is doing. I came across a YouTube short that I'd like to share, okay, about Corey Hardrick. I'm going to play that short right now and I'm coming back. She left, he made millions. Corey Hardrick, born in Chicago, Illinois, began his journey in the entertainment world in the late 90s. From humble beginnings, Corey appeared in small roles on TV shows like Smart Guy and Felicity. His big break came with roles in movies like Gran Torino and American Sniper, showcasing his talent and versatility. Corey married actress Tia Mari in 2008, and the couple became beloved by fans. However, in 2022, after 14 years of marriage, they announced their divorce, surprising many. Despite the personal setback, Corey found new success. Teaming up with Tyler Perry, he starred in the film Divorce in Black, a poignant story that resonated with many. Corey Hardrick's journey is a testament to resilience. From his early days in Chicago to finding renewed success in Hollywood, stay tuned for more about Corey Hardrick and his ongoing journey in the world of entertainment. So this basically, she left, he made millions, right? That's the short. I, I, want, I want to talk about this because one thing that we can do as men is when uh, a woman or we feel like people are uh, mistreating us, we can have the tendency as men to uh, feel like we need to um, respond. We need to answer that. We need to uh, be angry. We need to give a piece of our mind to something and that we need to get revenge. That's how I used to be. I used to always think like, oh, I need to get revenge. Oh, who you playing with? Oh, okay, you're you're dealing with me. Okay, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you, right? I used to be that kind of brother, man. Then I got a little bit mature, a lot more mature. And I remember the scripture that, that my mom used to always tell me when I wanted to, to get back at people. And that was, vengeance is mine, say it the Lord, okay? Basically, let the Lord take care of that for those of you who are Christian okay you ain't got to be but that was the whole thing and you go out there and worry about what you need to do and I'm telling that every black man out there that you're gonna have people in your life that's gonna hurt your feelings you're gonna have people out there that want to see you fail you're gonna have people out there that's gonna leave you for dead but you don't have time to go out there getting a the revenge on folks life is way too beautiful okay to do that you don't have to do that what you're going to find out is that most of the people that you want to seek revenge on, they ain't going to have nothing anyway. All that you need to do is focus on being great. Now, look, look at how his, all these opportunities are opening up for him. And you want to know why? Because he had the right attitude. Now, if he would have been going back and forth for her online, calling her out the names, complaining with her. No, nobody would ever hire him. He's too much of a risk. How can you hire somebody like that? A man can't even control his own mouth. Nah, I can't hire him. Nah, that brother's out of that brother's out of pocket, you know. But hey, he took it in stride. Now he's getting the best paydays. Guess who missing out? Her. She missing out. Because you want to know who was immature? Her. That's why everybody wants him to win now. Cause he 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 left in such a way 
can't nobody say nothing bad about him because of the way he handled himself. You see, he ain't get mad because she started acting stupid. And I'm going to tell you something that I, I really learned in, in, in my older age. I used to have a problem with this. Whenever uh, somebody in a relationship I was with decided to want to be petty and wanted to act a fool, I figured that, well, shoot, I need to go ahead on and give you some of this energy. You want to be petty? I need to go ahead and be petty too. But that was, that, that was me when I was stupid and not knowing any better. One quote I like from Michelle Obama, when, the, when they go low, we go high. And I know a lot of you brothers are not going to like that, right? But hey, this is what I'm going to tell you. When they go low, you go high. If they want to be petty, let them be there by themselves. They want to act stupid, block them. They want to be immature with a mature man, remove them. Let them suffer. And what are you going to go ahead on and do? You're going to win. People going to be people will, will even notice like, "Damn, man, look at how Look at how she's acting. She's acting in a very silly way. You know what? When I have opportunity for that brother, I'm gonna make sure that he get it based on the fact that he handling himself like somebody. I'm gonna make sure that he get that opportunity because of how he carrying himself. I like how the brother is moving like a black man. And when he moves like that, he's showing emotional maturity so I can have him around my business. I know that if things happen in the business, um, and if something happens, he will have the maturity to handle it. And I won't feel like I'm stupid for, for dealing with him. That's what I'm talking about. You see that? And this is what a lot of black men got to look at. People look at how you handle yourself when things are not going up to par, because you're going to have those problems in life when things are not happening for you. Things are not going well, but you got to tough it out and you got to come out there and you got to be all in your stuff. Okay, you're gonna have to be ready to go, mentally ready to respond. Shout out to Sinful to P. Be a man. And if she's acting funny, let her. Okay, if she acting petty, let her. You should also let her do that by herself. Okay, I would suggest that. If she wants to act like she don't have no sense, let her do it by herself. It's the best that I can tell you. All right. You don't want to be a lady here? No problem. Here's exactly how I'm going to deal with you. Boom. Gone. Leave her. Bye-bye. Immediately out the way. Okay? Go ahead on. Improve yourself. It's a lot of people out there. It's a lot of mature women out there. It's a lot of great people out there, but you can't get them when you're mad. You cannot attract the right people to you. Worried about trashy people. You cannot worry about the good in your life going back and forth with people who don't have anything. You can't do it. You can try, you can try, but you will never be successful at it. And a lot of black men just need to know that, need to get at that, need to understand it. And once they understand it, they're gonna start having better luck. And I, trust me, those ladies that have been petty with you, being immature with you, just, 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 you could just check them out any, any time. See where they at. They ain't no, I guarantee they ain't nowhere. They ain't nowhere. It ain't hitting on nothing. It ain't hitting on nothing. I, I, I always tell y'all this. I had a chick that I was dealing with. She used to cheat on me. And um, I used to really want, I used to really want that girl. I don't know what I was thinking about. I used to really want her. Want, 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 want to know where she at now? Dusty. <laughs> Dusty. Broke. I see her now. I don't even want to even look at her in the face. I try to go across the other street. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Dude Jackson back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. Put your fire, you just heard the bell. We're out. Yeah.